The social media influencer facing charges accused of causing a riot in New York's Union Square. Thousands of people flooded the streets after he promoted a giveaway. Trevor Alt has the latest for us. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Robin. So this influencer is a young man named Kai Sinat. He has 20 million followers across social media, including on the website Twitch, which is a place where creators live stream themselves, playing video games, even just living their lives. And on Friday, his massive audience of young people came out in droves here to Union Square after he announced that giveaway on short notice, and it quickly spiraled into chaos. This morning, the streaming star whose announced giveaway turned into pandemonium on the streets of New York City has now been charged with a felony. Authorities arresting more than 60 people in the incident, saying several others, including some officers, were injured. I'm scared I'm gonna get hit by something. I can't turn my back. The crowd had gathered to see massively popular influencer Kai Sinat, who last week announced plans for a meet and greet Friday in Manhattan's Union Square, where he said he'd be giving away merchandise worth thousands of dollars. We're doing PS5s, PCs, Bro, you keyboards, like, listen, mouse pads. How much security? You, you know, you know, you're gonna have to have like no, no, 20 no. security out. You know that, right? No, no. The NYPD claims Sinat never told them about the plans. Friday afternoon, thousands poured in. People seemed climbing on cars, statues, and subway stations, with multiple fights breaking out. As the police response grew, Sanat still touted the giveaway. $100 gift cards all here, bro. We're going to go crazy. Telling his audience on his live stream to be safe, but also saying everybody for themselves, there's a war out there. This SUV was then captured speeding away with crowd members hanging on. Sanat believed to be inside. The streaming star later questioned by authority, seen here leaving a police precinct, and he's now charged with riot in the first degree causing public injury, a class E felony, and also charged with inciting a riot and unlawful assembly. In a statement, Senat's group AMP says in part, we recognize that our audience and influence are growing, and with that comes greater responsibility. We are deeply disheartened by the outbreak of disorderly conduct that affected innocent people and businesses and do not condone that behavior. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says they're investigating whether outside actors escalated the violence, but noted most of the people in the crowd were very young. And authorities say they do believe Sanat and his team did have some PlayStation 5s and all of those gift cards, but it's unclear if anybody actually received any of them. And police did note nearly half of the 60-plus people arrested were minors. Mm. Robin. All right. Trevor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.